Well, a man with a great record in the Trainers' Championship is Kevin Hutton. Uh, won the first three times he was in it, including winning seven races in a row over two meetings. Uh, last year, though, Kevin, the mantle slipped. You were only second. We were, yeah. Mark Wallace took it back from us. But, um, no, it's been a great competition for us. I always think it's one of the, one of the best nights of the year. Um, and it's been very kind to us, so we're looking forward to it again. And uh, with the way the calendar's worked out, some of your greyhounds have had experience of Sheffield this year, where it wouldn't be a track that you, you visit particularly often. No, no, it's, it's probably not a track that's on our radar too much. Um, we always try and support the big competitions here, but it's not somewhere we would go for, for one-off. So we're, we're probably a little underprepared in you know, comparison to past years where it's been Central Park and Toaster. But um, no, this is, a, this is a great track and hopefully we pick the dogs to, to run it well. Well, this is the uh, calm after the storm. The trap draws have been made. How do you think it went for you? Um, I think we've got a couple of absolute shockers. Um, we've got a couple of really nice draws as well, um, and one or two that are okay. So it's yeah, pretty pretty average overall, I think. You've got a couple of railers that are, have got middle burst to contend with, haven't you? That you were yeah. very concerned about. Yeah, Drive On Hunter. He's, he's an absolute bang railer. I mean, he's, he's literally the, the tightest railer we've got in the whole kennel. So we were we were desperate for trap one for him. Um, Nice dog. First first race since uh, being knocked over in the Romford Puppy final, actually. Um, so he's, he's going to have a good year, um, but I think with this being his first race and now Trap 4 to contend with, it's going to be very tough for him. Accentuating the positive, uh, who do you think is maybe your best drawn or your best chance? I think our best chance for winner is going to be Magical Vera. Um, we actually seeded a middle uh, from wide in the hope we might get three or four um, and see how she goes. But I think the makeup of the race and probably being in trap six is no bad thing, actually. So uh, she trialled particularly well. Um, she, she's a bitch on the up. She, she's very decent. Um, and I think she's our, our nap of the meeting. Bobby Mac uh, Osby is probably a greyhound who's got a tough draw, but um, he overcame a tough draw to win at Central Park Sunday. And, of course, he ran in the juvenile here. He did. He, he was a, a good second, actually. That was his uh, only second race of his year. And he's a good second beyond a very classy winner. Um, I, you know, he's got Verve in there to, to try and lead and, and the Sea Glass Dog as well. I mean, it's, that's one of the races of the night. It's a great race. But I thought at Central Park the other night he was much more mature. You know, he used his head, he come round dog. So hopefully the pen is starting to drop and he's beginning to learn. Um, he'll, he'll, he'll go up straight enough. It's just whether he can, can clear the inside dogs, really. Have you got enough depth in your team to, to be a serious player then? You've got obviously some great chances, but have you got the strength in depth? I think, yeah, I think we have, yes. Um, we've some nice dogs there. Mad About Philip and Galloping Moon are two really interesting dogs stepping up in trip. Um, two classy types. I say Magical Vera is very good. Bally Mac Osby is top class. Um, you know, the lost one there, he's, he's, been about the, he's been about, but he knows what to do. So, um, no, we've a nice team and say the draws are okay, so no excuses. So that trophy might only have been on loan to Mr Wallace for one year? <laughs> Let's hope so, yeah. It'd be a lovely one to get back. I say it's a great competition. We'll be, we'll be doing our best. Kevin Hutton, brilliant year in 2018 and looks to have a very strong team for Saturday.